I keep seeing my friends posting on Instagram that their HRV is 125 and mine is a measly 25 and I'm getting really upset and down on myself. If this sounds like you, I'm here to help and I'm here to dispel some rumors, give you some actual HRV numbers and to make things a lot more clear for you. But first, if you're as excited about raising your HRV as I am, please consider subscribing to my channel. So the first point that I want to make very clear, and it's certainly one worth repeating, is that different wearables measure HRV in different ways. Now there's two main ways that HRV is measured in terms of time domain indices. The first is RMSSD, which is used by just about every wearable out there. And then there is SDNN, which is used by Apple. So the SDNN results are usually much higher than the RMSSD ones. Now there's one thing that regardless of whether your wearable is SDNN or RMSSD based, it's going to be a big factor in whether or not you'll be able to get some really impressive high HRV numbers. And that thing is genetics. Yes, some people are just born with chronically kind of lower-ish HRV and no matter what they do, they're not going to get anything fancy. But that's okay. And I'll talk about why that's okay a little bit later. Now, what I don't want you to do is to say like, ah, it must be genetics. I'll just let this thing be. Regardless of genetics, there are things that are under our control. There are lifestyle changes that you can make. And I've done one video about this in the past that I'll link to in this video. And I am going to do another video coming up where I show even more lifestyle factors and fundamental changes that you can make to increase your HRV. Now, before I get to the numbers that you can compare your current HRV against some of the ranges that were done in a study and let you know whether you're in the optimal or normal range, I want to talk about a study that was done some time ago that you may have seen out there on the internet. Now, what this study says is that if your HRV is between 0 and 50, you are in poor health. If your HRV is between 50 to 100, you have compromised health. And if your HRV is above 100, then you are in good health. Now, what I do want to mention about this study is that A, it uses SDNN, which we talked about a little bit earlier in the video, and B, this was done over a 24 hour time period and Apple Watch does not do readings over 24 hour consistently. And lastly, this study was done on heart patients and it's particularly important for cardiovascular health, but HRV can actually be used for a broad range of health. So for now, I wouldn't really worry about the results of this study unless you fit all the criteria that I just mentioned. I would like you to focus on the study that I'm about to show you, which shows HRV ranges for healthy people within certain age categories. All right, and the moment we've been waiting for, here are the results of the study that show ideal numbers for HRV. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our age range and we're gonna find the row that has RMSSD for most wearables. And that will be our ideal HRV plus or minus the difference that they show. So for example, me being a male in between the age of 35 and 44 using an RMSSD based wearable, my optimal HRV would be 32 plus or minus 16 and a half. And now I'm going to show you the same kind of data for females of various age ranges. And you would again find your row and column that's appropriate for your wearable and age. And that would be your ideal HRV. Oh, and just to do an apples to apples comparison, you want to do a five minute reading without meditating, without pacing your breath, without doing anything fancy, just like hang out there, relax, let things be five minutes, and then you can compare that HRV reading against what I'm showing you in the study. Now, what I want to close out this video with is that comparison, especially to others, is the thief of joy. 
you may have heard of this, but it's so true when it comes to HRV. So when somebody's posting on Instagram that they have 155 HRV, just let them have that. You need to focus on your baseline HRV and slowly making the right lifestyle changes, improving things so that you keep getting slow, good, upward trends in your HRV. And that just shows that you are improving to the best of your abilities. Focus on that and you'll be much happier. All right, guys, hope that was helpful. I appreciate you all. Keep on raising your HRV.